All right, it's uh, week 10 already. We're already into double-digit weeks. Can you believe it? It's week 10. It's the Vikings hosting the Saints tomorrow at the Purple Palace. Um, it's the, it's what, what's the encore? <laughs> what's the encore for Joshua Dobbs after, after last week? Um, I believe he was, he was offensive player of the week, the NFC. Um, you know, got a lot of attention, a lot, you know, a lot of national attention this week. Is this going to be the classic though? You get, you have, you have the, the, the rise and then you have the fall. Is this going to be, you know, are they going to be able to sustain this? Um, you know, Saints coming in here. Saints are in first place in the South. They're probably going to win that division because Atlanta's trending down. Tampa Bay's falling apart, and Carolina might be the worst team in football. Um, you know, they're 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 an okay team. Um, um, they have an okay defense. They're scoring some more points. This will be the this of this stretch of games that everyone was looking at is like, here's where we can really get on a run. This is the toughest game. Um, so we can't have we can't have a Dobbs let down. We need Dobbs to to be good. He's gonna he's he is obviously gonna start again. Jaron Hall, I believe, is still in the concussion protocol. I don't think he cleared it or anything. So he obviously is not gonna be available. Sean Mannion is gonna be our QB two. Oh boy, please don't get hurt, Dobbs. We even signed Tanner Morgan to the practice squad this week. Back to the back to the practice squad. Um. So, you know, you know, can Dobbs do it again? Um, and I think he can. I think I think you know, the, you know, you know, he he made mistakes last week and then then got in a groove. He's had a he's had a full week now to to absorb the the playbook and get used to who he's playing with and all this stuff. So, yeah, I think I think he can I think he can play a more complete game this week. Um, you know, and he played a you know they played. He played Played against a pretty decent defense last week, um, so it's not like he did it against the I don't know the Bears or somebody, but yeah, I think I think they I think I think Dobbs will have a shot to have another good game. Lots of questions injury wise. Uh, the big one is Justin Jefferson. Is he going to come back? They've opened up the return window. He's officially questionable. I doubt he plays. Um, you know. I mean that look they are they 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 are four and zero without him, um, and I don't think that that means that they don't need him. I mean, there's so many people this week saying, "Oh, see, this is why you don't need a Kirk Cousins because you won a game with Josh." No, you still need you still need elite level players, but um, you know, I think I I think there is a there's something to it that in a way it's kind of helped uh, Kevin O'Connell as a as a play caller to to not. You know, to have to, to have to, you know, force creativity. You know, he he's really gotta, he's really gotta come up with stuff when when you know when JJ is not out there, and I think he's done very well for the most part. Um, obviously, I hope Jess Jefferson's out there. All hands on deck, let's go. Um, but I, I suspect he won't play. Darisaw will play. He's not. I believe he wasn't even listed on the the final injury report, so he'll be back. Uh, Hawkinson was questionable. So we'll see if he if he gets out there. Obviously, we need him because um, he's he's after after a rough start to the season, he's really turned it around. Um, and uh, there's some, you know a few other guys who are hurt, and, you know, questionable around like Dean Lowry's out, but you know that is, that's not like a major major injury. So you know, um, yeah, it's just that they'll, you know, can they can they maintain? That what they've been doing there. Are they going to have a letdown? You know this. You know of you know they're on a four game win streak, but I, last week was easily the the, the, the the high, the like the emotional high, and we've seen them. We see, then not just the Vikings, but other teams. You know you have the big high one week, and then you kind of crash back down. I think coming. I think the fact that this is a home game will help. Um, you know this is like their only home game in about a what about a six week stretch because they. Like the 49ers, then we're on the road, then get this, and then they're on the road again for a couple more, I think, after this. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I expect to win. I do think they'll win. I think this could be, a, you know, it's going to be close because it's the Vikings. Um, I think it's, I think it's you know, in a 27-24 type of game, 
Um, maybe a maybe a late field goal. We haven't had a game winning field goal this year. We had a couple of those last year. We haven't had one of those this year. Maybe this will be the week that you know we get the we get the late field goal to win it. Um, but uh, yeah, I expect to win. I expect a pretty good another pretty good performance by Dobbs, um, and maybe a, and hopefully a cleaner performance because you know the the jitters are gone. Um, I think I think some people are getting a little overly excited about Dobbs just to you know to be perfectly honest like like you know he was he you know it was, it was a great story last week and hopefully it'll continue to be a great story hopefully he can be like the case scheme of 2023 um but I think people are getting a little overly excited um you know he's needs I wouldn't expect him to just play the rest of the season and never have a bad game. I mean, he's going to have, have his struggles, but, uh, hopefully not too much in this game. Um, you know, we got to beat the saints. Always got to beat the saints, man. Hate them. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, I think it, what was it like their, their percent, uh, their, their odds of making the playoffs go up to like 80% if they win this game. Um, so, I mean, you this is the stretch. You still you have to pile up your wins now because it does get tougher once you get those Detroit games later and Cincinnati and hell even the Raiders. You still have to play and they've got a new coach and played much better with a new coach. So who who knows what they're gonna have to have to offer? You got to cl- clean up the, these these games now. I think they will. And no reason to keep talking. Twenty seven twenty four Vikings. Let's go.